everybody. Welcome to ADHD Whiskey Live. Welcome back. Hells yeah. It's Friday night. It is the calm before the storm. It is the final training session of the semifinals of this grueling competition that I haven't even begun to compete in yet. <sighs> feel pretty much exhausted. I feel basically beat down. My body's sore. My muscles ache. The weight cut went well. Uh, saw somebody mention that in chat. Stepped on the scales this evening, 185 plus, plus 185 <laughs> or something. Uh, what is going on? It's a big night. Um, friggin' America, by the way. P.S. America. Uh, today is, of course, September friggin' 11th. So, um, got to mention that right off the bat. Crazy day in history. But today, we're going to flip this day on its ass and we're going to make history by being the best damn whiskey live stream on the planet, Janet. I don't know. So anyway, pour, your, pour yourself something good. I've got a little old Fitzgerald 15-year bottled and bond, courtesy of DC, in my glass tonight. Um, everybody who is uh, maybe having a rough day today or just kind of having a one of those weird days because it's just one of those days. Cheers, everybody. We're all in this together. Friggin' America. Friggin' love. Friggin' everybody. Friggin' love everybody. Cheers, Owen. All right. Got that out of the way. Freaking got it out of the way. I'm terrible at that kind of stuff, so... <sighs> now I'm loose. Loose as a goose. <sighs> um, what's, that? what's up? We are, we are a mere 72 hours, approximately, but not quite, or roughly, or away from my... A journey into the Bardstown Bourbon Company World Top Whiskey Taster Regional Semifinals, where I will compete against nine other individuals for the crown of, um, you know, semifinal regional champion. And I'll move on to the finals. So this is the final training session, and I'm so happy you're all here to witness this guy drink whiskey. Hell yeah. Let's go. What's going on, brothers? And sisters, he was in chat tonight. Got a bunch of people. Oh my gosh, too many people to name my words. So many people. So many people. Um, let's see. I'm trying to use the StreamYard chat tonight because it actually lets me do this. Rocky, Rocky. Lets me put it on the screen. And but then if I try to the other the other screen, it doesn't let me do it. So. I'm going to try this and see if it works. What is going on, everybody? Love you all. Um, i got to switch to the other screen to see. We've got 120 people in chat already. Good grief. That's way too many for this early in the night. But it's also a little bit late, but not late enough. Or early enough. I don't know which way to put it. Everyone's chanting. Everyone's happy. Everyone's having a good time. Thank you, Trev Wilson, for doing the pregame pre -game session, getting everybody loose, getting everybody goose, getting everybody... Whatever I'm just at. This is the portion of the night where I'm just a little bit, a little bit wired. And I need to calm her down a little bit. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Breathe, Porter. Breathe, Porter. We're good. We're totally good. Nick Lewis says, shots, shots, shots. That's not going to happen. But it could. You never know. Um, but it won't. But it might. You never know. So let's see, we have a couple cool things happening tonight and also a couple things we wanna talk about. First of all, um, I'm gonna to get to the chat here in a second. So if you, if you asked a question, ask it again, because I can't scroll back because I'm already past the point of no return in my brain. And once I get there, impossible, impossible to go back. I wanna say thank you to new friggin' patrons on the, the old Patreon page. We are at 114 patrons in the ADHD Whiskey patron page, which blows my mind. Cra that's a crazy number, a gigantic big number. Hey, my mom's in chat. I see that? Bev Porter? Matt, Matt, Matt. She's never called me that before, so that takes a lot for her. 
I thought she'd be chanting Matthew. Thought for sure. <laughs> um, we are at 114 patrons, and I can't, don't know how to say this, but we're almost at $1,000 on Patreon. So that is something I like to keep public and keep my people in the know, because guess what? I freaking love you, and I'm not going to hide it, because... I'm, I mean, I'm just, I'm, up, I'm amazed. So thank you all. Incredible. Incredible. James Cochran. Thank you so much. Jared Shimke. Jason Lowe. Ryan Elvis. Christopher Newell. Mr. Whiskey Shits. Tyson McKinley. If I've mentioned your name before, it's because I forgot I did that. But guess what? Double shout outs. Tyson McKinley. Christopher Deaton. David Lingsweiler. Jonathan Call. You used to call me on my cell phone. Late night when you in my home. Call me on my cell phone. Late night when you need my love. I know when Jonathan called bling. That's just a good song. Louis Garcia, Daniel Gracie, Joel Fiari, Caitlin Boobreaker, Neil Oliver, Chris Tatad, Jay Leung, Joe Moody. Brock Hurdle, Jamie Fernandez Jr., Alex Crank, Bill Balistrieri, Josh Pence, Ben Compton, Dave Campbell, Gavin Heslop, Jason Blackwell, son of a bitch. That's a lot of people. Part of my language. I just get excited. And I'm sweating. That took a lot of reading. Hotline bling, that's right. Oh, man. Tommy D. What's up, Tommy D.? Jeez Louise, we got 139 people up in the up in the hairs. Up in the hairs. Never knows any song Matt sings. That's because I don't even know a song I'm singing. Just heard it somewhere before. Ah, <sighs> so somebody mentioned beard. Um, actually, I've got some super chats I didn't even read. What the hell's wrong with me? I'm a friggin' idiot. What a moron. Oh boy, Jason Busey. My wife saw you telling me to lie to her, so I'm not supposed to watch you anymore. <laughs> I lied to her about that. Great idea. Tell her it played up. It played automatically, and you didn't know how to shut it off, or that you heard that I changed my ways and wanted to find out for yourself. Either way, um, your wife can. She watches shit that she doesn't want you to know about too. Stuff about makeups and winged eyeliner and shit. <sighs> Probably. Um. Another Jason Busey super chat. I won't type that out again, but I'll give you another super chat. Hashtag BDC. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Andy Maurice. 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 $5 super chat. Thank you, dude. Will Henderson, $5 super chat. Chat says cheers. Hells yeah. Nick Full says, on the other hand, I know every song Matt sings. Hashtag Stitches. <laughs> stitches is uh, a guilty pleasure when you just are wanting to listen to something about the worst stuff on the planet, you just go to that and you listen to that. And he's just a wonderful person, I think. I am super excited for tonight. We have 143 people in here. We hit 5,000 subscribers today. 5,000, which means we have 4,600 more people subscribed to this channel than I thought would ever subscribe to this channel. The first 400 were me and like other accounts of me, but I didn't ever think I'd hit 5,000, let alone within the first year. So we're one year in, not quite. We still have another month, and we're at 5,100 subscribers. That's a lot of people. So if you're new here, this is it. Go ahead and hit unsubscribe if you want. Don't blame you. You probably didn't know what you're getting yourself into, but also don't hit subscribe because I start to cry, and nobody likes to see that. It's very sad, and it's very very makes me look like not quite a man but i don't care i don't care if i sometimes sometimes i like to get emotional but that's just me dj beacon 20 dollar super chat dj bacon because you're so awesome cheers matt kick some arse at bbc we will be cheering matt 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 hells yeah monday thank you dj beacon for that super chat monday 6 p.m eastern time Bardstown Bourbon Company Facebook page or Bardstown Bourbon Company YouTube channel. Two ways to watch me win. Two ways. You can go on the Facebook if you want to support the Zuck, or you can go on 
the YouTube if you want to support the Googs. Either way. Either way. But yeah, I am going to face nine, nine other competitors, and we're going to fight to the finish. And I plan on winning. I plan on winning so hard. And it's going to be hard, for sure. Um, Jason Busey, new patron. Thank you, brother. Just heard my hotline bling. And I had to see what it was, and that was that. Hell yeah. We are excited. Brandon Sprague, 5K, 4K. Actually, um, in the last 28 days, my channel's grown. My channel's doubled in the last month. So from like 2,500 to 5,000 in the last month. Don't get it, but I love it. Eric L., my best friend. I wanted to send this for telling your mom about the Christmas presents we found when we were 10. Oh, thanks, dude. I'm sorry that I had to make you lie and you didn't, you didn't lie. Um, 5,000 subs? That's like a tenth of a million. Pretty close. For going by Dan math. Uh, when we were 10 years old-ish, uh, my parents were gone for, oh, for, out oh, for the evening. Maybe not 10. We were probably older than that because we were home. Oh, I don't even know how old we were. But anyway, I wanted a Sean Kemp jersey for Christmas. Really bad. The Seattle Supersonics jersey. I wanted one so bad. Like, really bad. And I wanted it so bad that I needed to know if I got it or not. So, Eric L. and myself rifled through a closet in my home where the Christmas presents were being stored. And in my brain, I didn't think that my mom knew that she didn't leave the closet looking like a disaster area. So, they came home. She opened the closet, saw that um, everything was a mess and not how she left it. And then she said, I see that you went through the closet. And I said, no, I did not. And she said, Eric. And Eric said, I can't lie to you. Yes, we did. And then he cried. So I didn't get my Sean Kemp jersey. <sighs> Had to settle for Michael Jordan. Sometimes you got to take a hit for the team. Thanks for the $10 super chat, Eric. <laughs> oh, geez. 153 people watching this mess. It's cool. It's cool. Let's see. Two flights at the same time tonight. Two at the same time. How am I going to do that? How am I going to? It's going to be pretty easy. It's going to be pretty simple. And we're just going to do it. So what happened was I have one flight from Dan and Julie L. Oh, by the way. Oh. Hit the brakes. Oh. Deep breath. <sighs> Tell them about the giveaway. Okay. Let's, we forgot about that. Um, tonight... For every $5 you super chat, your name gets entered into the giveaway. And hopefully someone's going to keep track of that. If they are not or if they haven't, then I'll have to do it myself. But um, Dan and Julie L. are giving away a bottle of Buffalo Trace and a bottle of Weather Special Reserve. So they're actually going to be be sending those to the winners of the, of the, uh, the giveaway tonight. So thank you, Dan and Julie L., for supporting me in every single which way. Hopefully you never have to support my weight because that's a lot, maybe too much for you to handle, but in every other way you seem to get, you seem just to nail it. So thank you so much for that. So yeah, every $5 your super chat gets you entered into the drawing, the drawing for the night, the drawing for the evening. Um, I'll just do the old technology thing, add it to the ticker. Genius. So smart. We have been live for 15 minutes, and all I've done is talk about the best stuff. So that's about it. <clears throat> Trev Wilson says, you need to do better at informing me of these giveaways. I'm so sorry. But, um, you know, if you can or can't, I don't know. Just we'll, we'll see what happens. Try to. If you can't, then we'll go, I'll do it with paper and pencil. I'm good at that. Mashing drums in the house. Cheers, you beautiful man and master blender. Hells yeah. I have a blend and mashing drums blend again in the finals. In the friggin' finals. How did it get there? Through magical blending abilities and luck and Jason's ever so um, easy to bribe palette. Just kidding. $20 super chat from Sam B. Good luck, Matt. Cheers, Dan and Julie. Hells yeah. Thanks, Sam B, for that. Friggin' awesome. 
Uh, Trev Wilson says he 100% got me. By the way, if you're not subscribed to Trev Wilson's channel, make sure to do that. They are doing a giveaway on their channel. Um, Trev Wilson, Whiskey Central, and Destination Bourbon. And forgetting one, uh, Hot Buttery Rolls. Subscribe to their channels, and I'm sure Trev will post some links. And if when they hit 1,000 subscribers each, they're giving away, like, the biggest giveaway on the planet. Basically, $75,000 in pure gold. Or Blanton's. One of the two. can't remember. But either way. Winner, winner. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, yeah. What I was talking about. What I was talking about was a $5 super chat for Mike Franklin. Thank you, buddy. Congrats on 5K. You're going to smoke the competition. Mr. Whiskey Shit says, feeling lucky. He's clenching it. Thanks, Richie Z, for the... Oh, Hot Buttery Rolls is in chat. Heck yeah, dude. I'm so happy that everyone's like... We have our own little... There's like a little... I feel like... You know how uh, Joe Rogan has his podcast community? Where it's like him and Burt Kreischer and then a bunch of... And Joey Diaz and then a bunch of other people who you're not allowed to talk about anymore. Um, I feel like that's our community, except for in the, the whiskey world. We have our own little community, our own little group of YouTube channels, and I'm happy that all these people are just doing their thing, and we all support each other, we all love each other, and we all need to buy a ranch in Austin, Texas, and live off the land, and shoot elk, and shoot all of our videos from a space space capsule, a red one, just throwing it out there. Spotify, if you're listening. Willie Teabagger. No, just about as much as that's a, I mean, that's a name. <laughs> Willie Teabagger. Love it. $10 super chat. Thank you so much, buddy. Jason Busey says 9 11, never forget. That's true. 9 friggin' 11, never forget. Sad day. But, all right, finish off this old fits, and then we're going to talk about the flights for sure. I think my palate is getting dangerous. Because I think I can start to pick out weeded stuff now. I'm starting to get a note. This is becoming apparent. Missing a couple of super chats. This is not going to go good if we keep missing super chats. Ten dollars from Jared Wolf. Head into the effing clouds. Have a wonderful evening, sir. You have a good evening, Jared Wolf. Keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on at least eight hours of sleep. Tim Evans, ten dollars super chat for the world's best whiskey taster. Cheers. Thanks, Tim. Ah, Tim, it's going to happen. I'm going to win. Just got to keep saying it out loud. You're going to win, Porter. Porter, come on, Porter. Bill Ballard Austrian says, if you want to be like Rogan, you got to do tons of DMT and smoke hella weed. Son of a bitch. That's why I'm not like Joe Rogan. I thought it was the kettlebells and lack of motivation, but it's the DMT. All right. Thank you for the super chat. Richard Windsor Jr., take my money. You got it. Got any more? Give me some more. Just joking. Caitlin Brewbaker, the Brewbaker maker and I are just just open Old Carter Batch 4. Batch 5 is next. Hell yeah. Let me know how that is. Is that organic tea bag? Could be DJ Beacon. And Matthew Park says, my wife just walks in and laughs at your beard. Good stuff. Uh, yeah, so the... Um, <laughs> take Andy Moresi chat down. What the heck happened there? I'm sure the mods are on it. They gotta be, right? They gotta be. Um, so this was my training, my training, uh, training camp hairdo and training camp beard. It all goes away tomorrow. It all goes away. All goes away tomorrow. So training camp will end, and this will this will end as well. Another twenty five dollars from Jason Busey, just throwing out the cash tonight to lighten the mood. Grats on five k. How do I get more ginger in my beard? Um, I don't know. Maybe just eat ketchup sloppily. I do that a lot. That could help. Richard Windsor Jr. says this is the last of it, and grow the beard belly button long. Are you talking belly button, like to the to the, my belly button, or the the depth of my belly button? Because either way, it's a long beard. Just saying. He's talking about on your screen name. 
Oh, geez, Louise. See, that's why I don't uh yeah there uh uncle buck just talking okay there gone Whew. thanks for explain I, sometimes you got to explain to me like i'm five or one the challenges we're getting to them right now nick sorry so sorry um i've this is this is difficult for me because my chat went from 70 people to 170 people real quick and now I'm just trying to hang in there. Two challenges I have. One from Dan and Julie L. They sent me a flight. I'm going to do two at the same time. This one is called Something Old, Something New, Something Borrowed, Something Blue. And they send me the answers in a uh, manila envelope here. And then there's something inside of it. And it says, <laughs> because they know me this well already, it says, don't smash, be gentle. I did not smash yet, so success. The blue tux pressed and ready? Not yet, DC. <sighs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it or not. So I got a flight of four, of four whiskeys from them. Uh, a, B, C, and D. I'm guessing one of them is something new, one of them is something old, one of them is something borrowed, and one of them is something blue. I think those does the wrong order. But yeah, so I'm going to pour these in the old, in the old glasses. And then at the same time, I have a flight from Bourbon Junkies. Dan sent me. Dan sent me some finished whiskeys to help me practice for this um, this competition, and so in the competition, like you can't compare them to anything. So I don't want to pour an entire flight of them. I want to pour them one at a time. And then see if I can pick out the finish one at a time. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do two of those. Then I'm going to start this flight. And then I'm going to do two at the end. Gary Franchi says, grow the beard out to be the world's easy top whiskey taster. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's really good. I like that. Thank you for the super chat, Gary. And see. Are you still selling challenge coins? Um... Not right now. I'm in the process of designing the new batch, and I'll order more this time. But we I just actually sold the last of the ones I had. I have three left that are that I was going to use for this competition. I'll probably get rid of those. Maybe maybe I'd want to keep one. I don't know. But new challenge coins are coming soon. New challenge coins are coming soon. Daniel says you will be slammered. No, 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 no. I'm only. I'm my I haven't drank yet tonight, so there's that. And I'm not allowed to get slammered. I'm told myself that. Alright, so getting rid of these. And then I'm not pouring full glasses either of the finished stuff. I just want to know if I can pick it up right away. So this is what I'm gonna do. We have How many people want to see ADHD keep the beard? I don't know about that. One second here. Uh, so I'm just checking in with the better half. There we are. All right. So I don't know about them. I don't know about them. I can't keep the whole beard. AB Scars Alex says you're definitely getting. Nope. No, I'm not. So I'm just tasting enough of the finished ones to find out if I know what they are. Um, there are, there's a PX Cherry, oh, geez, PX Sherry Finished, an Oloroso Sherry Finished, uh, Orange Curacao, and whew, son of a bitch. I can't remember the fourth one. I should probably know that so I can guess them. And... I feel like I always need to be talking or everybody's going to leave. All 180 people are going to be like, you know what? Sick of them. Let's go. Let's get out of here. All right. Uh, there's a... Uh... Oh, and a brandy. So Orange Curacao, PX Sherry, Older Oso Sherry, and brandy. 
<laughs> Beards are cool, says Tommy D. Yeah, thanks. I can't though. This is too much, and I I just like to I like to look nice for at least a couple weeks before I turn back into looking like a homeless guy who ate way 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 too much before I became homeless. Rabbit hole. What notes are you looking for in each of the finishes? Um, the sherry. Okay, so I, I don't honestly the difference between an Oloroso sherry and a PX sherry. I know that they're different, but I'm expecting the same sort of notes from a sherry sherry finish. Uh, so I'm going to be looking for like raisins, dates, uh, dark fruits, things like that. Maybe a little bit bitter, and then the orange curacao. I'm really hoping a citrus jumps out of the glass. And for brandy, I'm definitely looking for for some grapes, some grape action, a little bit of grapiness. So we're gonna find out. This is the first one. This is A. And A is not easy easy here. A is, a is a sherry finish. So I'm gonna make a note of that. And I don't wanna. I'm not going to find out if I'm right or not until the very end, because if I if I reveal them as I go, then I'll know what what's left. Yeah, I can get some some like figgy, make figure tins, some figs, some fig newtons. It's pretty light though. Well, that might be rum. No. Yeah. Shit. All right. <laughs> I was pretty confident on the nose, but then the... The old finish. The old taste tastes like rum. Got someone blowing me up. I don't know. One more taste. Rocket review five hour super chat. Shave the head into a sick mohawk and braid the beard. Go in looking like berserker. <laughs> uh, no blueberries, DJ Beacon. Hmm. Okay. There is I'm trying to Why would I say Did I say grapes for rum? Why would I say grapes for rum? Grapes is why didn't did anybody correct me here? Grapes is blueberry. Or what the hell am I talking about? Wow. Uh grapes is brandy. Not Rum. Rum is like, was it distilled like sugars? Uh, wow. Damn it. On the nose, I thought it was a sherry cask. On the palate, I think A is a rum finish. I think A is a rum finish. I don't know what's happening. All right. Um, now... That's the wrong thing. <laughs> Grapes for brandy. Yeah. <sighs> you only have 76 likes? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? 184 people in here and only 76 likes? Plus Dan and Julia, 78 likes? Son of a biatch. All right. We're not moving. We're not. We're not leaving till we hit a hundred. We're not moving forward till we hit hundred likes. We better hit a hundred. Thanks for pointing that out. All right, I'm B. Oh, definitely spilled a little on my, myself. B. Oh yeah, I'm not moving on till. Not moving on till I hit a hundred. I said. So we got to do it. We got to hit a hundred. There's ninety two. And the thumbs down. Thumbs down works. That's fine, too. 
we'll count that as 90, 97. All right, we're moving on up. We're moving on up. Moving on up. Dude, 100. Okay, now we're good. Whew, thank you, everybody. The likes help. The likes help so much. Um, last week, we hit 100 likes, and then we got like another 100 people on chat, it seemed like. So weird. Oh, bees orange cure style. <laughs> Don't even have to taste it. Wow, okay. That is really, really orange cure style. That's not even... Okay. I'm going to go back and... Oh, snaps. I'm going to go back and drink that a little later. But... All right. So, so far I said... I mean, <laughs> there's no... If every orange Curacao finished whiskey is that orange, then that's... I think my wife might really, really like that. That tastes like a dreamsicle. So B is orange Curacao. And I'll do the next... I'll do the last two finished ones after this flight. Patrick Fulmer, $5 Super Chat, says he said blueberries. Love blueberries. Josh Pence... $5 super chat. Kelly Matt 14 in the glass. ADHD kicking ass. Bardstown champion. Yes. Can't wait for Monday. I actually think I might be a little bit a little bit stressed out about it. Which I shouldn't be. I should just be just be happy and excitable. Exciting. Excited. But also nervous. I've got a lot of people, a lot of people rooting for me here. What you doing? You wanna try this? Try try this. Try this. Just I'm trying to hand it to you off camera. What's that? I'm sweating. I'm having my wife try the orange curacao one. That smells like orange it smells like oranges big time. But I just want to see if you like it. She says she's allergic to whiskey too, so. You don't get oranges at all? You don't get oranges at all? Okay. Right, never mind. Now you're making me second guess myself. What? Oh. Uh, if, I, if I wake up with no taste on Monday morning, I'm going to be furious, by the way. Furious. Everyone says, hi, Carissa. She says hi. She's shy, but she's hot. Just be Matt, then Matt wins. All right, 188 in chat. That's crazy to me. Craziness, crazy talk. Think we'll hit 200 again tonight? We hit 203 last week, which is a record. It's a huge record. Never imagined I'd hit 200 people in chat. So that's something to be proud of. Right? Right? Happen these bitches. Um, for if you're nervous, Matt, have a drink. That's a good idea, but not too many because I'm afraid of that too. Most important thing is to have fun, but also to win. Cobra Kai, yeah, because it'd be real badass for me to win for sure. Oh, if I win, I'm gonna celebrate so hard. If we hit 250, then something happens. I don't know what will happen, but. Um, something will happen. Let's see here. So I'm take. I'm gonna make some notes. I want. I want to do this. I want to guess on these glasses. Basically, for sure, I want to guess proof because that's part of the that, that's part of the challenge at Bardstown. I want to guess proof. I want to guess um, what type of whiskey it is. If it's a bourbon or a rye or if maybe they threw something else in there. And then, I don't know, maybe if I can throw a Hail Mary guess at possibly what it could be. So, I don't know. First first glass here. Cheers, everybody. This flight brought to you by Dan and Julie L. The friggin' bestesses. Hmm, this proof and age. Oh, age, yeah. Forgot about the age portion. We'll do age too. 
for show. DC says 250, and I'll give away a 1792 foolproof. There's no way 250 show up, but thank you, DC, for that generosity. Huh. I should have capped this thing. Instead, I'll just swirl it. Let's see. Oh, somebody asked about the white box behind me. That box is where my samples reside for the, the challenge on Monday. Um, there's four samples and there's four challenges. So that's where they lie. And I've, I've opened the box and I've looked at that box and I said, you samples are going to get sampled so hard. So hard. Sure wish you could find a Glenn with Matt's logo on it. That They're coming soon. Um, basically have some, I had some wobble glasses to sell. Those are pretty much all gone now. And then uh, this fall, later this fall, I'm going to be ordering some Glens. So I'll make it well known when I do that. Getting oak, getting oak, cherries, oak, kind of like, um, My wife walking through the house, watching my live stream on her phone, doesn't throw me off at all. Distractions left and right. Yeah, Jason Busey, love you, brother, but fresh processed food has entered the hacienda, so I'll be back. Oh, dude, have some for me. Whatever it is, have some for me. The good stuff. What glasses are you selling now? Um, I have like, I think there's like six of them left, but they're wobble glasses. They, I'm not sure if you can see it. Can you see it? Oh, they spin. They spin and they wobble. They wobble and they spin. But they weeble and wobble, but don't fall down. They're like the, they're like an ADHD fidget spinner for whiskey. You can spin them in your hand. They're good to hold. I mean, there's just fun glasses. And I thought that would be a fun first glass to sell. So that's that's what I have right now. Cherries. Can't wait for Monday. Looking forward to it. I can't get slammer tonight. Famous last words. <laughs> Thank you so much for the super chat. Appreciate it. Marine Franchi, shave the beard for Carissa. Oh, it's tomorrow. It's all, most of it, it's coming off with the hair. I'm going to look like $17 come Monday, which is a lot for me. Huh. This reminds me of like, let's see. At first, I thought a turkey nose, and then maybe it's a buffalo trace nose I'm getting. Sweet and cherry. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's, let's go for a sip. That <laughs> is... Really high proof. It's, I'm not sure if I still have some of the orange curacao, like in my mouth still. But I had like, um, like a bitter oak, a bitter oakiness that I was not used to or ready for. Um, and it was the whole way. It's still finishing with it too. Huh. <laughs> That's a, this is a very high proof. In the Bardstown competition, the they say over 100 or under 100. And then if you can guess the proof within two points, you get an extra point. This is over 100. <laughs> It is make yours forty six cask strength. Um, I think it's I think it's way proofier than that. I don't know second step. Let's try a second step. Mm. 
Wow. I think, all right. Let me say this. I'm not a doctor, first and foremost. But I, earlier today, earlier this evening, when we first started this, I had, I poured myself a little sipperoo of Old Fitz 15 to get the show started, to get it kicked off right. And I made the comment that I felt like I was starting to be able to tell a weeded product when I tasted it. Um, I think this is a very high proof weeded bourbon. I knows it and I said maybe Buffalo Trace. This is this like a WLW? I don't know. I don't know. All I know is very high proof, and it has the profile of of wheat to me personally. So I'm going to make that note. It's not Malort, so I promise you, you won't die. <laughs> Got to prime the pump, says Beacon. Let's see. So uh, 100 and, I'm going to say 125 plus. We did? When my voice goes up, it's, it's me seriously questioning myself. We did? Oh, full tricks. I don't know, I'll come back to it and find out from there. So, oh, age. Um, man, that's I'm not, 12 years. There's a lot of oak on it. 12 years, I'll say. I'll say 12 years, 125 proof weeded, maybe Buffalo Trace. And that is just my initial tasting. Initial tasting. 198 I see in chat. Good grief. Okay, now we're on B. And B, B smells young, but I also sometimes confuse young with weeded also. Wow. Now the, the, there is a, uh, what's the word? Um, shit. I almost had it, then I just failed myself. What do you call it? A uh, theme. A theme to this flight. Something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. Whatever that means. So um, maybe this is something new. Barrel-proof barbell. Chris Reggie made the announcement yesterday, going to be a dad in February. Raise a terrified glass. Holy shnikes. Dude, Cheers. Dingo, Dango, Dongo. Do everything you possibly can that you want to do that your significant other lets you do before February. Because after February, guess what? The only thing you're powerlifting is poopy diapers. <laughs> and you're deadlifting dirty drawers, right? Hmm. That's it. No more gym for you. So... <sighs> You get fat like me now. That's what happens. I was 175 pounds of ripped muscle until I had my second child. Now I'm 300 and more lots of pounds of not muscle. I blame it on... I blame it on me. Congratulations, anyway. All right. 54 more? I don't know if that can happen or not. Huh. Did we hit 200 yet? No. No, we didn't. 128 likes? That's good. We can get more likes than that, though. Let's just pump up the likes. This smells young. This smells sweet, grassy. This could possibly be a young weeded bourbon. Um, this could be a Maker's Mark cask strength or like a private select or something like that. I don't know. Let me take a little sip of and find out. Yeah, that is, I think this is 
I mean, somebody mentioned that in chat earlier, and they said that it was possibly, uh, like they said, the Maker's Mark cask on the first one, and I laughed at it because it wasn't. But this actually might be. This is taste young, taste weeded, taste high proof. This could be like a, a Maker's, maybe a Maker's 101 or a Maker's cask. Or a maker's a maker's forty six cask. I'm getting. I uh, actually was had the the pleasure of tasting through some of the um, the maker's mark tasting kit the way that they they do their private barrel selections, and I was able to taste some of the the samples from the different stave things, and this is reminding me of some of the some of that French oak stuff I was tasting. Quite a bit. But the proof, after drinking the first one, the first one was so hot, it's hard to tell where this one actually is. And it might be around 100 and... Man. It's really difficult after having something that cask strength and that hot to really figure out what the heck's happening in the next glass. Um, that's what I'm going to put on this sheet here. I'm going to say younger weeded. Younger. Young weeded. 100 plus makers? All right. Basically killing it. Basically. Matthew Parks, I guessed makers 46 cast strengths because you mentioned cherry on the first one. Oh, yeah, I get... Um, I get cherry on, I haven't really drank a lot of Maker stuff, but I get a lot of cherry on Buffalo Trace. I get a lot of cherry on MGP stuff as well. So, like, a lot. My mom's over there telling me to drink my water. I've got the water. What are you talking about? Cheech. Ardolani, Ardolino says water between tastings. I'm I'm working on it. Can you do your your best Christopher Walken impersonation when nosing the next class? And giving your input, please. New Patreon here. Great content. Rye Ryan, thank you so much. My best Christopher Walken when I nose the next class. All right. I'll, I'll, I guess I'll try. Never really done that before, but. All right. Glass C. Oh, taste, taste like, taste like honey. Oh. Ah. Uh, shoot. Um, how does he say it? Uh, damn it. How does Pooh say it? He's like. What's his words? He says, uh, good. Oh, oh, heaven. Oh, heavens. Tastes like honey. Tastes like honey. Oh, heaven. That's my best Chris Christopher Robin I can do. Sorry. That's not that good. ADHD whiskey. Do you want a hint of what it's not? No, I don't. That is not no not Pooh Bear. That is not walking. Was that Winnie the Christopher Robin? Right. Oh, Christopher Walken. Okay, I got Christopher Walken. Christopher Robin. I got him confused. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Christopher Casca, $10 super chat. Thank you. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. I don't I don't know where like why my brain took a turn, but uh <laughs> Hey, you say you want you say you want Chris you say you want Christopher Robin, but but then he come in, he acted all, all tough and such. So 
what do you want to kick in the face now? Or <laughs> that's I can't do Christopher Walken either. But I wish I could. Because he's a funny guy too. I'm not sure who's funnier or a better person to impersonate. Christopher Walken or Robin. So sorry about that. <laughs> Mr. Hardlew, I don't I have no idea what that means. This is Dan said that was the worst Christopher Walken ever. I'm on the floor dying. That's I I don't know where my my brain took a left turn. I watch way more Winnie the Pooh than I watch uh, anything Christopher Walken's in. Find out who chat from Trev Wilson. I'm ordering everyone to stop for a second. Remember everyone we lost today and raise their glass. Cheers to the fall and never forget. Good idea, Trev. Cheers, everybody. Um, what Trev said, he says it way better than me. Now do Dan and Sean. Nah, maybe later. Glass C is very familiar for some reason. It's darker. It's... I think C might be a rye, actually. That's what's different about it. I think C's a rye. Cinnamon... Maybe like a hint of dill. I don't know. Let's try it. Give it a little sip of sip roo. Wow. What on earth is that? Besides fantastic. Whoa. What the heck? That is amazing. That is a cask strength rye, and it is phenomenal. I don't know what that could possibly be, but it is. Um, geez. My, my brain was immediately trying to figure out what the hell I was drinking, but I just want to enjoy that. That was like a very... F when you squeal, that's piglet. I love it. Well, there's 100 acre woods. <laughs> Age and ABV, any mint? Um, ABV is... 100 and... 120... 120 proof? Age... Age on rye is more difficult for me. Because the oak, I feel like the a lot of the rye characteristics sometimes overshadow the oak. Am I more, more partial to the wheat or the rye bourbon mash bills? Um, I like the, 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 rye, the rye bourbons more, for sure. This is definitely an older, an older rye. If it's a friggin' rye, now that I'm nosing it. That is so good. I'm gonna say that's a. 120 proof, 10 year rye. But wait a minute, it's so weird. Like, 
on the af on the aftertaste, there's there's not a lot of mint. Well, this one is oh man, it's falling. It's not like a super dilly rye. And it's also not like a super bourbony rye, but I think it's facing more of a bourbony rye than it is a super dilly rye. But wait, you know what? Dang it. I'm second guessing myself. Is it finished or no? I don't think so. No, I don't I don't get that. This might be um there is, you know, there's a significant amount of mint on mid palate. It actually finishes it finishes slight mint into barrel char is what I'm getting. So I wonder if this is um you know what? I'm gonna go out on a limb. This is me going out on a limb. I've never tried this bourbon ever. Or this I've never tried this whiskey ever, ever, ever. But I think this might be the Parker's Heritage Rye. So I think that's high proof. Um and the barrel char on this is like out of control. So I think that I'm getting I think the heavy char barrels Parker's Heritage Rye from last year. I'm not sure what proof that one is. I actually have no idea. But I'm guessing it's at least I think it's barrel strength. So I say And I actually don't even know the age on that, but I said, I said ten. It's ten to might be older than that. Um, maybe Parker's. That's my guess. There's a lot of barrel char on that. That's why I'm. That's why I'm going that route that way. So I got C back in there. Look at me drinking responsibly, not slamming all five ounces at a time. Where to put my challenge coins at? My caps. Where to put my caps at? Matthew Parks says, expensive taste, brother. Um, well, shoot. Like, I mean, when you taste something like that, you. I've never, I mean, I've never tried that before. I've never tasted it. But knowing what I know about it, I haven't tried a ton of like the really high-end rise i've tried a you know a sample here and there but um i mean that's obviously not a, a budget rye or a low-end rye so my imagination's got to take over and my you know the information i've been given has got to take over and my palate's got to tell me you know what direction to take it it's not that i have expensive taste it's that whatever's in that glass is not cheap or young i don't think let's see here why is my Holy shiza. We got some talking to do real quick. Before I get to D, $10 super chat from Julie L. Are you considering the clues? Just asking. Um, could I consider the clues? I mean, I could, but I haven't thought about them because I don't want to think too much into it. I get into trouble when I start thinking too much into stuff. So I'm not actually, when I'm, I'm, these notes I'm taking, I'm just guessing off of what, I'm thinking and tasting. Um, I don't know any more than that. Let's see. What the heck? Update. Update. We have another friggin' new patron, Anthony McKeever, in real time. Thank you so much for, for your, your patronage, buddy. And Ryan, just Ryan, a new $40 patron. Holy shit. I'm so sorry for swearing, but holy shit. A $40 patron? I think we got to see if that happened or not. This this could have happened live on air. Live on air. I got to check it because if I don't check it, then I won't know and it's just going to screw me up. We... Refreshing it. I'm refreshing us. Just do it. Tell me. Refresh faster than that? Why aren't you refreshing? We just broke a thousand dollars on Patreon. Patreon, holy shit! Thank you all so much. Holy crap! Two hundred people in chat, five thousand subscribers. 
116 patrons for $1,021 a month. You people are amazing. And I love every single one of you. If if you're just in chat, I friggin' love you. If you're a million dollar patron, I friggin' love you. You are all so amazing and you've done so much for my life, just lifting me up and making me happy. And also allowing me to drink whiskey on a weekly basis. So thank you. That was a that was a cool moment for me. Thanks so much. Um, here's D. D is sweet. You luck bastard. Drink and talk about it for one k per month. <laughs> I don't. I trust me. I don't get it either. Kilko says, I need to borrow 875 subs, okay? Kilko's got a YouTube channel also. Go hit up Kilko's channel. Give him a subscribe. Uh, Rock Out Review, also friggin' YouTube channel. Love love Rock Out Review. Ed reminds me of Tandy from Last Man on Earth. If you like Last Man on Earth, the show, and I can't remember the actor's name because I, can never, I never can, but Tandy from Last Man on Earth, if you are a fan of him, you will love Ed from Rock Out Review. He's basically, he basically took over the, the helm at Last Man on Earth. Uh, yeah, so go subscribe to Rock Out, Re Rock Out Review. Friggin' Ed's the man. Very familiar nose. Um, nice and oaky and sweet. Vanillas. This smells like a, a pure vanilla extract. It smells like a pancake a little bit. Uh, a pancake with butter on it, but no syrup. David, David Gregory. Keep up the good work. Congrats. Thanks, David. Thank you for the super chat. Can you give a master class on swirling? I could. Should I just do that for um, the advent calendar? Is just 24 days of swirling? I swirl this glass for you. Ba -rum -pum -pum -pum. I'll teach you to swirl to ba -rum -pum -pum -pum. Could swirl one glass or two. Ba -rum -pum -pum -pum. Ba -rum -pum -pum -pum. Ba -rum -pum -pum -pum. That's just a good idea for Advent. Will Forte. Yes, Will Forte. My mom, how does my mom know that? The hell? Um, <laughs> that's hilarious. Thank you, mom. My mom is basically Googling stuff for me now. This smells oaky, sweet, maybe lower proof. Can't tell really on the nose. Never heard pancakes with butter. I need to get that whiskey. But it's like, mm, that's there, but the predominant note here is is sweet oak. Making it dizzy, getting it dizzy. Spin, spin her till she pukes is what I say. But actually, right before, pretty much. Swear that son of a bitch. Man, this reminds me of like a maybe a, a wild turkey... An older wild turkey, maybe? I don't know. Let's take a sip. Wow. Oh. My. God. <laughs> Holy crap. Um. Wow. That's phenomenal. Whatever is in this glass is so good. The proof on it seems high. 
but maybe it's like around 100 proof. This might be the Wild Turkey Bottles and Bond. The finish on this is, it's, this is a, a Luden's Cherry Cough Drop, but it's like concentrated. And just, it's like they took, they took a syringe of liquid Luden's and they stuck it into an oak log, a heavily charred oak log, and they just pumped it in there. And they let it sit for like 17, 18 years. And then they drained it and put it in a glass bottle. Lots of whiskey euphoria this evening, it seems. Hells yeah, this is whatever's in whatever's in D is my jam. This is so good. A lot of cherry, yeah. You know what though? Strangely enough, um, I feel like on the turkey master's keep, I got more cherry on the nose than anything on here because I didn't mention that on the nose when I tasted it. It was more on the palate. That's weird. The second sip of D is more tamed down. It didn't quite like hit me as hard with the oak. The finish is still going. I mean, it's oaky, but it like the the first sip I took was like a big spike. Um, this one was more. The second sip was more even keeled and really, really good. Um, man, that's that's tasty. Five dollar super chat from Alistair McLean. Your videos are always top notch. Hope your channel keeps growing. Wishing you all the success in the world. That's the nicest thing anybody's ever written to me. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's crazy. Two hundred and nine in chat. Two hundred and twelve. That is two fourteen. That's a record. That's a friggin' record. Um, it's called Call Guinness. Call Guinness. That's a record. I'm going to say that D is uh, 17 years old. No, I mean, it tastes older than that. I'll say 18. I have no idea. 18 years old, 100 proof. I really, I don't, I don't know if I have a guess on what exactly it is after Sampling the first three plus the other two, I don't know. But I do know that whatever it is is very good. Like, super good. Now I want to... I'm going to taste back through them after some water. Wherever I put my water. I'm going to taste back through them. And then I'm going to place them in the order I like them from most to least. Which is going to be really hard because they're all a very good. Except for number B. Except for number B. Number B um, is the, my least favorite for sure. Will Henderson, MVP, is in the chat. Will Henderson from center field. I freaking love Will Henderson. Oh, man. So before I did this flight tonight, I was given my... Um, <clears throat> Got to say, I was given my, my young ones a little bit of a educational lesson, you know? We were sitting around the bedside talking about how important it is to to be raised super smart. <clears throat> and they they agreed. <clears throat> they were like, this is excuse me while I clear my throat. <clears> throat> what the hell? Losing my voice, not really. But kinda. <clears throat> we were talking about the importance of being super smart. And we were just sitting there and uh, my three year old was like, Wanna hear the alphabet? And I was like, I would love to. And she said, A, B, C. And I was like, that's enough. You've nailed it. Because all you need to know is A, B, C. Alec Bradley cigars. And then my four-year-old was like, yeah. Fuck the other 53 letters of the alphabet. Alec Bradley cigars. That's all you need to know. 
that's that's basically the best cigars on the planet. <sighs> Went to a store today to get some. They were all out. They were all sold out, Alec Bear, the cigars, because they said that they had an overwhelming, an overwhelming amount of people coming in and asking for them. And then they sold them. And they could they said they could charge whatever they wanted because they're so good. But uh, it's just a weird thing. I can't find them anywhere. They're sold out everywhere, these Alec Bradley cigars. So strange. <clears throat> All right, let's get back in to the flight. I want to go back to B. I want to go B first. Yeah, B is young. Does a robust beard help with the tastings? Nah. Actually, probably hinders it a little bit. Hashtag non-cigar smoking room. Yeah, it's an Airbnb. Trev Wilson says, two and I watching. Hold on, let me buy more bots. Jerry Black, $10 super chat. Thank you so much for that super chat. Friggin' love it. Super excited for all of the super chats you... Generous people. B is in last place. And I think B is younger. Um, I'm going to say B is around like four, four to five years old. And we did. <laughs> Alec Brad, <laughs> AB, cigars, Alec. Alec says, I don't know about all that, but thank you. <laughs> uh, oh, Trev also says, tell us tonight's giveaway again. The giveaway tonight is um, the Like family. Uh, Dan and Julie L are giving away a bottle of Weather Special Reserve and a bottle of Buffalo Trace. So every five dollars super chat, every five dollars you super chat gets you one entry into the giveaway. So five dollars equals one entry. Ten dollars equals two entries. A thousand dollars equals twenty, two hundred entries. You know, just saying. Um, math. But yeah, thanks to Dan and Julie for, for sponsoring a giveaway tonight. Like a couple of freaking amazing people. Love you both. <laughs> AB Cigar now. Alex says, for the commercial. Oh, geez. Um, sorry, that one wasn't better. That, uh, <sighs> saw your name in chat a long time ago and then was like, oh, I should have gotten wasted earlier so I could commercial this shit. Beats in last place. Now I thought that I want to taste. I want to taste C last because I think C is a rye, and I don't want to put C in the middle of a couple bourbons. So I'm going to do um, A, and then D, and then back to C. So this is A, which is I originally thought was like a 125 proof, 12 year weeded bourbon. Richie Z, find out super chat. Cheers, Matt, and another great live. Cheers to you, friggin' Richie Z, on being just great and alive. You're the greatest. One of the greatest. Everyone's the greatest. I don't know. Tony G says, 5,100 subs? This thing is out of control. Trust me, I know. I hit, I doubled my subscribers in the last month. Incredible. They must all be. And they're not all fake because people are leaving me comments. And they're like, hey, just found the channel. Where have I been all my life? And then another person is like, let me, let me read this one. This is a good one. This is a good one. Um, here's a comment. Let's see. Comments. Um, held for review. Cindy Lou Betris says, you should shut the fuck up and try the Dickel Rye. That's about the George Dickel bottled and bond. Uh, so she's not very nice, but thank you for watching my videos. Uh, Jason Hathcock says you made Reddit. What does that mean? By the way, best name on the internet. Jason Hathcock, half the best name on the internet. Wow, that's good. Man, that's good. Shelf turds. Oh, by the way, shelf turds 
who's in chat tonight left me a comment yesterday too and i was going to read that one but i lost it because i accepted it um it was something about how stupid i was and how right they were i don't know but i'm glad that shelf turds is in chat because obviously they don't dislike my channel that much steve the stone <laughs> i thought that said the steve society eh. the stave society says what's up my top whiskey taste a gangsta you know just tasting and loving loving and tasting all the good stuff yeah a is i'm gonna say a is 100 <sighs> guessing the exact proof is pretty hard i'm gonna say 125 proof weeded bourbon um 12 years old and it's really good but really good so then c i was gonna try no i was gonna try um d where did i put d there it is i was gonna try d next so so far a is the standout d When is the finals date? Um, the finals this Monday, Monday, 6 p.m., Bardstown Bourbon Company Facebook page or Barb's, Bardstown Bourbon Company YouTube channel. That's where they're going to be aired live, and that's where I'm going to compete against nine other people who are aiming to take me out with machine guns, machetes, ground-to-air missiles, and Moab bombs. Good luck. I'm a steel fortress of of nothing but fortressing. So deal with that. No, I feel actually, I feel really good going into it. Um, I've been watching them as they proceed with these tastings and these competitions, and I'm getting comfortable with knowing what they're doing, and I feel like I've got a pretty good chance. So that's good, right? Gary Franchi says let's double the giveaway i'm adding another weather special reserve and buffalo trace for tonight okay thank you gary holy crap that means there's four bottles being given away two bottles of buffalo trace and two bottles of weather special reserve gary friggin thank you so much eagle rare says missing the gunshots and the motorcycles peeling out from your last ct local but still loving the show I'm going to be completely honest with you. That location is 12 feet that way. We just went across the hall to the apartment not right next to the drive-by shooting street because there was literally, literally a drive-by shooting. And we had, we, we had to pack up our shit and move across the hallway so that my toddlers weren't like immediately in danger of gunfire. Oh, Connecticut. Where you go to save for every minute of your life. You hear a firework, you check yourself for blood, and then you thank yourself for life, or thank God for life, you know, you know what I mean. Tim Evans says, have you tried all the non-bourbon so far? They're repeating samples for that challenge, yeah. I've, um, I know what you mean. And yes, um, yep, yes, yeah, and yep. I know what you're talking about, Tim. And yeah, absolutely. Will Henderson says, so I'm in again, right? That's what he said, and yes. That is so good. This is a lower proof cherry oak vanilla extract tiny bomb because it's so it's low proof lower proof than what i just sipped but the flavor that this the flavor that comes out of this glass is so well balanced it coats the mouth so well and the finish is so long that the lack of proof doesn't even matter it's so good man D is, I don't even know, like A is A is uh, a scorcher and so delicious, but I don't know if I could put A in front of D because D is so good. 
and I'm going to stick by um, like 18 years hunter proof on that. So now I go to C. Different maple syrup. Maple syrup. Ten dollars super chat from Maureen Franchi, who I'm guessing is related to Gary and wants to keep the bottles. Trying to win one of those extra bottles, my husband can save on the shipping. I called it before I read it. <laughs> That's hilarious. Thank you, Maureen. Christopher Casca says, I was at Bardstown Distil Distillery last week and really liked what they have going on there. Um, yeah, no matter what the outcome, I can't wait to go there and check them out. Like, check check out their whole, like, the grounds there. Like, I've heard that it's really, really cool and really neat, and I kind of want to see what's, what's happening. They're also doing, like, a new single barrel program where you can actually be a visitor at the distillery and fill your own bottle of single barrel bourbon from, like, their little rickhouse that they have at the bar. You can go back there and basically fill your own single barrel, which is really, really cool. Old Man Joe, $5 super chat. Thank you, Old Man Joe. Tears for another Matt Friday night. Forgot where I hid my E.H. Taylor. It wasn't in my left boot. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. Minty. This smells like a minty maple syrup waffle. So good. Then the rye spice hits. Back of the tongue rye spice flares right up. Oof. Minty, syrupy, cinnamony, barrel char. Barrel char. Justin Massman, you the man. Join Patreon people, support the channel, and all the great content. Thanks, Justin. You're the freaking best. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you for the recommendation on them doing that. Um, I'm standing by my guest for C also. Um, now I gotta taste A one more time because I'm not sure if I like A or D better. Yeah. All right. I've got, a, I've got a list. I've got an order. And here's the porter's order of the list that it's in. Reggie, Jay-Z, Tubak, and Biggie. You know, you know the whole thing. Um, but, <laughs> Dramhound, thank you for the link. Thanks for dropping that, buddy. Appreciate it. We are on fire. We have 202 people in here, from what I can tell. And everybody is awesome. Every single one of you is amazing. Thank you so much. I have an order. I have some guesses, and then I have two more finished whiskeys to taste to finish out the night. My order goes like this. Uh, can one be the kick and chicken? No, I don't think so. Um, I think my order goes B, C, D, A uh, from last to first. So first to last goes A, D, C, B. In the Lawn with Zach, $5 super chat, late to the stream, what the hell's up in here? Uh, drinking whiskey, prepping my palate for Monday, basically trying to get the last workout in I can get. Just hitting the mitts. Oh, keep your hand up. Sorry. Head movement. It's just what we're working on. Is what we're working on. So let's find out what let's find out what these are and how close i came to what they were this is just fun and to find out what's el what else is in this envelope it says don't smash be gentle so i made it this far and i'm pulling out what the hell what? oh my gosh okay oh are you serious? My kids are sleeping. 
your order one more time, sir. From first to last, first place A, second place D, even though I contemplated switching those because the um, man, the, the palette on D is so good. But uh, I don't know. So my order is A, D, C. Last place is B. Dan won't let me give him the present, but will you confirm to him that he has a great wife, please? Then explain this because it kind of sounds weird. So uh, Dan and Julie text we text every day. They show me all the awesome bottles they buy, and I just make faces like this. Basically. And um, today, Julie said that she bought... Oh, they don't make any noise. That's good. She bought Dan, and uh, I think it was a Christmas present. And then she sent me a picture of what she bought for Dan. And I can confirm that what she bought for Dan was something Dan will be happy about and probably not expect and also be happy about and that he's got a very good wife. And uh, that's all I got to say about that, except for you got a very good life. <laughs> John Call, $5 Super Chat. Thank you, buddy. Hey, Matt, congrats on 5K. Thank you. You're going to kill it in the competition? I hope so. Also, a big about out. I mean, that means shout out to Trev Wilson on the pregame. Great stream, guys. Hells yeah. If you're not following Trev Wilson, if you're not subscribed to him, you better do it. All right. Last place was B, and that's D, so... Last place is B. <laughs> this is the, the funniest reveal ever. <laughs> I can't I can't stop. <sighs> I'm sorry. <sighs> wow, what what Julie got Dan was very awesome, yeah. Very awesome. <laughs> Um, old Carter Batch 5 is great. Oh, I'm so jealous. That sounds sounds fantastic. And from everything I've heard, it's fantastic. So I said that um, B was young weeded, around four to five years old, um, like 110 proof. 100 to 110 proof. I'll say it's like 100 and whatever. Oh, doesn't that All right. And then my guess was Maker's Mark. Oh, what the hell? Wow. I was way off. Um, it's something new. It's Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel, which I didn't like. So it's 94 proof. I got the proof wrong on that, actually. Actually, way off. Um, I associate that with drinking it after whatever was an A, which was like really something crazy. And I was thinking, I'm like, is this lower proof than what I'm thinking it is? But uh, that's okay. It came in last place because it's not that good. And thank you, Dan and Julie, for sending it. But I literally gave mine away last week because I was not a fan. Uh, sing us a song and sip some stag junior. Cheers, my friend, TJ Arnold. Maybe it will in a little bit. Maybe in a little bit I'll sing you a song. Sing you a song, happiness. So that was something new. And I thought it was going to be something new, meaning like, I don't know. I just thought it was young. Which is really weird because, let me tell you this. Um, when I first tasted the Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel, I didn't give these notes in the video, but I thought it had some young notes to it. I thought it smelled a little bit younger. I thought it tasted a little bit younger, which was strange. I said it smelled like a shoebox. I thought it tasted and smelled a little bit young, even though it's double barreled, which is weird. So weird. Do a bottle chug. Probably not the best idea, but maybe. Sing us a song. You're the piano man. So, um, so far, not off to a great start. I was pretty feeling pretty good about that one, but maybe I just read the comment about it, and that's what threw me off. Uh, third place was C, which was really friggin' good. 
and I thought that C was a high proof rye. I said like 120 proof. So my proof might be off tonight. It might be lower proof than that. 120 proof, 10 year rye. Um, and then my guess was Parker's Heritage or something because it was such a high char. Mm. We sent before you did the review. Probably would have still done it, but maybe not. What? We sent before you. Oh, oh I got you. Yeah, I, you guys sent this before I reviewed that bottle. Um, Thrasher, Matt, 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 Matt. Sorry, I'm late. Thank you so much, dude. Thanks, thanks, Thrasher, for the super chat. Let's find out what's in C. Uh, I said high proof rye, and let's see what it is. <laughs> 216 in chat? Holy crap. Um, something borrowed is... Okay. Whistle Pig Boss Hog 5th edition 118.4 proof. So I got the... Oh, what I say? 120 proof? What's the age on the Boss Hog Rye? Does anybody know? C is Boss Hog, 5th edition, 118.4 proof. So I friggin' got the proof right. I got, it's obviously, I mean, I got the proof right by 1.6 proof points. It's got that it's arrived, but does anybody know the age on Boss Hog, 5th edition? I said uh, 10 years. Thirteen year, yeah. Hard to tell on a rye, but um, I knew it was an older rye. So that's what a five hundred dollar rye whiskey tastes like. Holy crap! So something borrowed means sourced. Okay, that's good. So I pretty much nailed that one. <laughs> Friggin' nailed it. Friggin' nailed it. Friggin' nailed it. <laughs> Thirteen. And I said, two hundred and twenty-four in chat. That is crazy record breaking news. Record, record breaking. Beep 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 beep. Breaking news. ADHD whiskey has two hundred and twenty-four people in chat. Also, looks like we're in for a little bit of a heat wave. Well, so I mean, I got the I got the age kind of right. I, I'll give myself I'll give myself the taste. Um, second place was a toss. It was hard between A and D, but um, my third place was D, and I thought that D was um, like uh, an eighteen year hundred proof. And it might taste hotter than hundred proof. That could just be the oak talking. Is that a turkey product? Oh, that's hard to say. 18 year, 100 proof. Phenomenal. Very good. Um, what, what, did I guess anything else on that? If I had to guess, I'd say. Man, that doesn't taste like an Elijah Craig. This is obviously something old. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's older than 18 years. Let's find out. A. That's D. Here's A. 226 in chat. Holy balls. That's incredible. Here we go. What's in A? A. What? Oh my god. Did I, wait a minute. I just, okay. I just completely confused myself here. Wait a minute. Is this D or A? Okay, I'm so... I'm sorry. I actually I cheated myself. I found out. My first place was A. My second place was D. 
I'm I'm sorry if I confused everybody there, but I, I read what this was and I knew that wasn't the case. So I already know what the winner is. The winner was A. And D was the D. Yeah, I'm sorry. But like I, this is what I saw. Uh, let's see if it makes sense. Uh, D and A. Shit. I was looking for D. I got D here. I actually kind of killed what um what A was already. But uh all right. Second place is A. Or D, I mean D. Second place is D. No shit. Okay. Some what? Something blue is blue label Murray Hill Special Reserve from Joseph Magnus, 110 proof. So I had the proof off. Um what is the does anybody know the age on that? That is really, really oaky. Shit. Got the proof wrong by 10. Um, I think that what stuck, you know what? I'm going to go out and say it, that what happened was I had like turkey slash pappy stuck in my head for some reason because it was just so oaky, but I should have. The proof tasted hotter than 100, but I didn't say that. I said 100. Shit. Oh, well. So that's Murray Hill Special Reserve. Something blue. It comes with a blue label. Oh, oh, well. You win some, you lose some. Better lose it tonight than lose it on Monday. Then the winner was Glass A. Oh. And the A was something old uh it's a blend of 15 10 and 12 year oh 15 10 12 and 20 year okay that's what the the murray hill club is thanks for a super chat by the way you didn't have to do that but thank you um man that is an oaky bugger it tasted very oaky so the 15 and the 20 year really stand out in that So then, well, I mean, A was Old Carter 138.1 proof. Question. Is Old Carter 138.1 proof, is that weeded or is that, what, what type, is that bourbon or American whiskey or what's the, um, does it, do you know that one? Because it just says Old Carter 138.1. I know they make American whiskeys and bourbons. So, for some reason, that tasted weeded to me. Maybe just, I don't know, weird. Maybe it's just an American whiskey? Roger Brown, anyone want to see Matt do a body chug? I don't know about that. You got your dead on, you said 12. This is batch three American whiskey. That makes sense. Not bourbon. I actually like it the best, better than batch five bourbon slightly. It's really good. Um, I said 12 years. It's a 12-year-old? Oh, that's good. I got the age right. I got, what was the proof? I said 125 plus, and it's hotter than that, wasn't it? Yeah, it's 138. It's I knew it was really hot. Um, I didn't want to guess 138. Because of what the hell's out there that's 138 proof, nothing. But yeah, that's that was really good. Really, really good. Thank you so much for that. Thank you so friggin' much. That's really, really tasty. That, that was a fun flight. That was good. I like the way that you revealed it was the best ever. I was totally surprised to see that. And I thought that they were gonna make loud noises when I when I blew the horn. But it didn't. So I have two more samples to sip, and then we're going to do the giveaway. TJ Arnold says, is Elmer T worth my time? Been chasing it way too long. Um, it's worth your, I mean, de depends. Like, it's not worth more than 60 bucks. Don't spend more than 60 bucks on it. If it's $59.99 in the store, buy it for the sake of having it but i'd say that people who are paying 
$250 for it, they crazy. They cray cray. And if you're in chat and you did that, I'm sorry. But it's not worth that at all. Uh, it's a, It retails for like $37 or something like that. Uh, if you double it, yeah, like 70 buck. You know, don't don't go crazy for it. It's good. It's good. But it's not like, it's not going to change your world. And if you spend 250 bucks on it, you're going to be very upset. Like, not happy. All right. So I'm going to go back to this weeded flight that Dan Shook sent me and then see if I can guess these correctly. So after these two drinks, we're going to do the giveaway. And by drinks, I mean samples. So we have glass C. And this could be, well, it's filled right to the top. Look at that, all the way to there. Does anyone know any good channels that do bottle chugs? Thanks for blowing. What does that mean? Oh, I get it. Oh, that's the same one as the sample you sent me? I haven't even drank that. The bot that's really good. It's really I mean it's I mean I could never spend five hundred dollars on a bottle of whiskey, because that's what the whistle pig costs, but it's really good. And so the bottle chug thing, am I against drinking out of a bottle? No. Am I going, would I ever bottle chug? Sure, I don't give a crap. Am I going to stop what I'm doing to chug out of a bottle? No, not usually. Um, not unless I'm persuaded very hard. But I'm a fantastic channel that will do a bottle chug when it's time. But right now, it's not the right time. All right, so um, I have two samples left, C and D. This could be orange curacao, rum, uh, PX Sherry finished, or Oloroso Sherry. Richard Windsor Jr. found $5 more laying around. One more entry. Hell yeah, Richard. Thank you for the super chat. I appreciate that. You're amazing. I think that this is the third, the third one I picked. I said that A was rum, probably. A had me thrown a little bit. I thought it could have been a sherry, but I said rum. I said B was definitely an orange curacao finish. So this should be a sherry finish, and so should D, but we're going to find out. Johnny3, $5 super chat, says America. Thank you. Dan L says, I am against drinking out of the bottles. There, I said it. And a lot of people are. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's always time, Matt. Don't be salty. Well, pretend this is a bottle and watch me sip it and pretend like it's a chug. Wow, that's really good. C is really good. And uh, wow, you know what? That's so strange. Um, I'm really glad what I did was um, I only poured a little bit out of each of these because tomorrow or Sunday, I'm going to go back and sample these again just to get the taste of what, what I know what they are for sure. I'm going to go back and get the taste of uh, so I, I can basically keep my memory up on what these things taste like. I really need to know orange curacao, sherry, and then like there's a walnut ale that they're doing, but pretty sure, yeah, I don't know. Pretty sure I could pick out a little a bit of a multiple. AB Cigars Alex says chug. So mean. So mean. Knox, Father, good luck on Monday. $5 super chat. From one neighborhood spirits competition, double gold winner to another. <laughs> Thanks, Knox. That's hilarious. Appreciate it, buddy. I think this is Sherry. This is really good, though. Um, it's weird because 
This could also be a rum finish. Man, I don't want to have to go. I don't want to have to like change my guesses here, but I might have to. Just to make myself feel better. Is there a live stream for the Barn Cell Comp? Yes, there is. Go to their Facebook page. Wow, Matt Porter, Matt Porter. The stadium chant. Hells yes. I cannot wait. The live stream is... Yes, there's a live stream chat on their YouTube channel and on Facebook. You can go to either one and you can comment on either one. So 6 o'clock Monday. So what, what threw me off here was the, the rum finish. I don't... Not a big rum finish guy, so I haven't really been focusing on that. But I could see where A and C could be rum finish. Okay. Just pouring a little bit of pouring a little bit of D. What do you feel like you're tasting when you taste sherry? Um so I was, there was a, a sample that DC sent me, and it was the Belmead Sherry Cask finish, and that tasted and smelled a lot like a really bitter raisin, a really bitter, bitter raisin, um, kind of drying is kind of what I was getting on it, and it seemed to stick out quite a bit. So I, I felt like going into this, I was going to be able to pick it up, but we're going to find out here. Man, D is not coming across as sherry at all. Man, whatever D is is really, really good. Like, really good. Like, fantastic. So... The hell just happened. Got a notification, and I have no idea what it was. So sorry if I missed it. Um, you know what? The late stop raise the glass overall death count from 9 11 to 29 77, excluding terrorists, plus all the lives we lost. Due to exposure at the crash site. Trev, you're right. Stop, raise the glass. Trev says it best. Thanks, Trev, for doing that, buddy. Appreciate it. You you are much better at doing that than me, so thank you. Cheers. A little more D. I felt like on the, the the very finish of D, I was getting some sort of sherry. Not sure who this guy is on here right now, but it's not the person I subscribe to. Roger Brown. Shut your mouth. Go back outside. Take a couple minutes. Take a deep breath, come back inside, think about what you just said, slap yourself in the face, type I'm sorry, and then we'll talk about it. Suck on that, asshole. Is that the guy you subscribed to? Or was it the nice, sweet guy who was like, I love everybody, and everybody loves everybody else? If that's the guy you subscribed to, then that's me too. And if that's still not good enough, you can unsubscribe and kiss my ass seven times. But I still love you. Jim T. Freaking love your channel, buddy. $50 super chat. 
Graham Hound timed out Roger Brown for five minutes. Thank you. Thanks. Jim T, that's a crazy super chat. Thank you so much for that. That's crazy and incredible. And thank you so much. Roger Brown coming on here trying to hurt my feelings. My feelings are bulletproof. And by bulletproof, I mean you can't hurt them. You can hurt them pretty easy. That will be a thumbs down. <laughs> uh, man, I'm really... These are confusing me a little bit. Aggressive Matt is here. Not really. But when somebody says, this isn't the channel I subscribe to in all capital letters, then guess what? Sorry, but which channel did you subscribe to? Because guess what? It's all right here. It's all right here. Yeah, I'm sticking with it. I think... A is rum, B is orange curacao, C and D are both sherry finishes of some kind. I think he means you need a haircut. I definitely do. It's happening tomorrow. I already said this. It's happening tomorrow. Tell Roger where to stick his opinion. Thanks, Maureen. Thank you for the super chat. All right. Let's get into the results. We've waited long enough. Um, Trev Wilson, if you want to... Uh, randomize or whatever you do. Whatever you do, just do it. <laughs> Matt's idiot to us. He's a teddy bear today. So we're going to do the giveaway here as soon as we do the results for the finished flight. So tally them up. Wonder if that guy was like... This oh... Mike Cook, that's actually hilarious. I wonder if that guy was like, this isn't fishing. And Matt blasted his original subscriber. That's actually really funny and a really good point. Because I was a fishing channel. So maybe if he was one of the first 200 people to subscribe to my channel when I was... <laughs> uh, but you know what? It does say ADHD whiskey, and he would have probably not would have realized that it wasn't ADHD fishing anymore. I don't know, but still. All right, let's see here. Uh, um, I don't even... I didn't have an order of which one. I like them all. They're all pretty good. I think I liked... I think I liked C the most. Man, they're all so good. Let's see. So, okay. The key is the ADHD. Trevor Wilson says, 1 through 93 is the list. Let's go, baby. Uh-oh, Richard Wisner Jr. just popped in. Let me finish these, and we'll do the giveaway. Sorry. Um, <laughs> did I say brandy, then changed it to rum, and then said brandy and rum again? I'm an idiot. Let's see. Uh, wow, I did do that. So the the choices were orange curacao, PX sherry, oloroso sherry, and brandy. That's why I said grapes in the first place because brandy. And that's what confused me is because then I changed it to rum. So, whoops. Richard Wisner Jr. says, I found this one in my son's piggy bank. My dollar super chat. Thanks, buddy. All right. So I was, all right. The letter A, I was right, was brandy. I just got confused, and I read it, and then I changed it. So brandy cask finished Woodford Reserve, 90.4 proof was A. So I got that right. B, I said it was Orange Curacao, and it is Orange Curacao Parker's 
um, Park, the Parker's Heritage Orange Cure Staff. So I got that right. That was very obvious. And then the last two I got correct. I didn't know. I didn't know how to guess between PX Sherry and Oloroso Sherry, but C was Jim Beam PX Sherry Hunter Proof, and D was Angels Sherry Cask Hunter Proof. So I nailed it. Um, a let's see where's A. If I taste A again, I think that A was like, I want to see what that tastes like compared to the sherries. Put it in a wobble glass, a fresh one. A little sip, a little sip. I need to throw you some money. Do you like dragons? I got a dragon cat on my right my right shoulder. It's a dragon tattoo. Friggin' love dragons. <laughs> dragon breath every morning. I can see where I got sherry on the nose of this brandy. And then I can see where it changed my mind on the palate. That's really weird. Um, hell yeah. So I nailed I nailed the finishes except for, you know, the PX versus Oloroso. I don't know the difference. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. All right, so let's let's do the giveaway, Trev. You said one through ninety, one through ninety-three. Is that what we're doing? One through ninety-three. Thank you, Dan and Julie, for the flight. Thank you, Dan Shook, for the finished flight. I that helps a lot. It actually helps a freaking lot. Hell of a practice round. Awesome. The final practice round that there's going to be. We freaking knocked it out of the park. We knocked it out of the Parker's Heritage. We knocked it right out. Home run, going yard. Friggin' nailed it. $40 super chat from Dan Gracie. Holy shit, coming in a little bit late. But Trev Wilson says, wait. Dan Gracie, thank you for that. Holy crap. Um, his dragon is going to outbeard him next week. Oh, my bearded dragon? I love him. Smoke wagon? He's asleep over there. One through 102 was Dan Gracie. All right. My first number of the night. So we have four. That's true, right? Uh, Dan and Julie, we're going to give away two bottles. And then Gary Franchi was going to give away two bottles. So two Buffalo Trace, two Weather Special Reserve. So let's do this. Um, we're going to do... Gary's and then Dan and Julie's. ADHD may come in seventh place, lol. Johnny, your humor sucks, and you should not try to humor me anymore with your humor, because I might come in seventh place. That's true. Um, okay, one through 102. Number 11. That's We're going to do Gary's bottles first. So for the Buffalo Trace... From Gary, number 11. And then the, the Weather Special Reserve from Gary is number 77. George Mirasan's number. He played for the Washington Wizards. He was 7 feet 7 inches tall and wore number 77. George Mirasan. So 11 and 77. Brenda Stevens says, I'm late as hell, but still curious. Thanks, Brenda, for popping in. Friggin' love it. What are the giveaways? Um, two, uh, two of the people, or a couple of the people watching are giving away two Buffalo Traces and two other special reserves. Yeah, Dan Gracie snuck right in. And then, um, so the next two numbers are for Dan and Julie L. For the Buffalo Trace, the number is 73, which was Dennis Rodman's jersey number when he played for the Chicago Bulls. Buffalo Trace from Dan and Julie goes to 73. 
TJ Arnold gets the first one, the Buffalo Trace from Gary F. Hells yeah. Way to go. Friggin' love it. And then, so we have 77, 73. And the final number for the Weather Special Reserve from Dan and Julie L. is... Um, I'll, let, I'll let my phone pick it this time. If it will. Choose a random number between 1 and 102. Fifty-seven, random number. So fifty-seven. Christopher Casca is number seventy-seven. Congratulations. Seventy-three is Willie Teabagger, number seventy-three. Congratulations, Teabagger. And then uh, the final number, number fifty-seven, for the Weller Special Reserve from Dan and Julielle. Totally random. Totally friggin' random. I'm so happy that this many people showed up for this tonight. Thank you so much. This is exciting. It's awesome. I'm hoping that um, I'm hoping that a good number of you can show up to the uh, Bardstown competition on Monday, 6 p.m. Hopefully, that'd be friggin' awesome. I would love it. So let's see what happens there. Uh, it's gonna be an exciting day. And if I win, maybe I'll do an after-party live stream. After, after live stream, after party. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, shit. You not. 57 was me, but I'm not accepting it. I'm running the randomizer again. <laughs> uh, that's funny. So Trev Wilson won, but he's not accepting it. That's funny. Run it again. Randomize it again. Thanks for putting yourself out here, Matt. We all love it. Oh, thanks, Campbell. Campbell Soup. That's a good name. Tim Evans. Won a bottle of Weller Special Reserve from Dan and Julie Al. Love it. Um, let's see here. Congrats, winners. Thank you so much. Hey, um, okay, so... Let's do this. This is my uh, Gmail. If anybody wants to email me, their, just send me their information, and then I'll pass your information on to Dan and Julie and then to Gary also. That's my email address right there, adhdwhiskey at gmail.com. And then um, I'll have them just basically send from them directly to you. So it doesn't have to go from them to me to you. So email me, and then I'll get in touch with them with your information. So do that. Hells yeah. This was awesome. This was super fun. WK Piper in Cincinnati says, are you in Kentucky? Whereabouts? I'm not. I am from Michigan, currently in Hartford, Connecticut. My wife is a travel nurse, and that's why we're here. We're here for another six weeks or so, and then who knows where. Hopefully, hopefully Kentucky. That'd be fun. Dude, best ever tasting note is the saddle ridden by Jessica Simpson all day. Uh, it tasted really good, so maybe I was on to something. Thanks. Thank you so much. Um, I don't know. Do you guys want to just hang out for a bit? Just We can do that. We can, um, we can end it now, or we can just hang out for a little bit and just chit-chat. It's up to you guys. We can do that. So um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go hit the head real quick. I'm not going to be drinking much anymore, but actually, I'll be right back. So we can we can just chit-chat for a little while. What time is it, 12.07? We can go for a little bit and just chit-chat, or we can just call it a night. Either way, I'll be right back.
I'm back. Def hangout for chit chats. All right. We got probably another half hour or so we can go for show. We can do another half hour for show. Um, there's enough people in here. We can just talk about it. Somebody mentioned earlier taking a quick quig. Yeah, I had to. So somebody mentioned earlier what they say. It was um, Covington versus Tyron Woodley. Is that actually happening? Is that actually happening? Um, I think Tyron Woodley is past his prime, and so I don't really care for the old Covington's shtick. It doesn't really do it for me. Um, I mean, freaking love America, but Kobe Covington doesn't really do it for me. But I think I think Kobe takes it because Tyron's on his downslope. Currently drinking ADHD whiskey's most underrated bourbon, Knob Creek Single Barrel. It is the most underrated bourbon on the planet. It is. People don't give it enough credit, for sure. They don't. They don't at all. <clears throat> Hit them with the hind. What you guys talking about? Sing that song, Matt. Which song? Drinking some smoke wagon? Which song are you talking about? I have no idea. Tyson versus Roy Jones? Oh, <laughs> I mean, Roy Jones has been more active, and he, I think, has not actually fared that well. If, I mean, if Mike, okay, Mike Tyson, I mean, you can't, you can't, I mean, Mike Tyson, Mike Tyson every single day, but this is a more important question, not who wins, but the, the actual more fun question is, will there be some sort of crazy shit that happens? Will there be something crazy that happens? Because, let's face it, Mike Tyson isn't exactly not crazy. Good night, Mom. I love you. My mom's headed to bed. I love you, Mom. She's the best. She stayed up way past her bedtime to watch this crap. So, man. Freaking love you, Mom. You're, you're the best. Um, have the little kiddos call you in the morning, probably. Let's do that. I'll call you late, considering you're up this late. <laughs> That's funny. Tyson in his prime was unstoppable train wreck. Yeah, so I think that the, the the better question is what will happen when he actually gets back into you know the spotlight and under the the lights are on him in a ring. Who knows? It's incredibly crazy to think about. Hey, legit whiskey reviews is in the house. What's going on? Cheers, buddy. Matt's mom is the bomb. My mother looked up the name of Tandy from Last Man on Earth earlier and told us. She is phenomenal. What a great what a great person. She's the best. Oh, she's still here. Oh, I love you too. Oh man, I miss my mom. I miss her lots. I miss her and my dad lots. We we are sitting over here uh in Connecticut and they are in Michigan's upper peninsula and we're not together so that kind of sucks. Joe Moody, $25 super chat, hunkalicious. Talking about you, because I feel like maybe maybe that's me. I don't know. Could it be me? Probably not. I don't know. It's really weird sitting here and not drinking anything. Feel pretty weird about it. So I don't know. It's strange. Drink some water. Maybe that'll help. Michigan's better. Absolutely it is. What was your first gaming console, Matt? Um, an Atari. I had an Atari when I was real young. Uh, I remember, shit, the only game I remember was Jungle Hunt, where you swung from a rope, it's like, and you caught the other rope. Whoop. So I remember Jungle Hunt with the Atari, and then it went from there. I had a Nintendo. I had a regular Nintendo, and then I never had a Super Nintendo. I never had an N64. So I think my gaming my gaming consoles went um, Atari, Nintendo, Game Boy, PlayStation. I think that's the way they went for me. What did uh, what did Dan say? Who asked Rogan what? Oh, I gotta look. I gotta look. Uh, 
Oh, he's not getting high now? Oh, boy. That's not good. I feel like Tyson should probably stay high up until the fight. <clears throat> what was the bourbon that got me into bourbon? Uh, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. A118 was the one that sealed the deal. I was listening to a lot of um, like whiskey podcasts and like watching a lot of whiskey reviews on the internet. And I was sipping whiskeys neat and I wasn't really enjoying them. And then I found a bottle of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof in a store one day and it had some dust on it. Uh, actually, no, it didn't have. I think it just came out. Yeah, it was a brand new release. It was um, the the A one one eight Elijah. I mean, like I liked whiskey before this, but like the one that actually sealed me, like very hard on bourbon was the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof A one one eight. It was all that I ever wanted. It was, I sipped a little tiny sip of it. I closed my eyes, and it was it just overwhelmed my palate with all these flavors of dark fruits and like like deep rich flavors and then it just the flavors lasted for so long and it wasn't like anything ever tasted before and it was an entire experience and that's what made me fall in love with bourbon whiskey for sure and then as i think about it i think that uh it must have been like trying to think of when that was wasn't wasn't brand maybe it was like like spring 2018 Rogers back hells yes <clears throat> Roger Brown wise when was the last time you had an ECBP a 118 um uh, geez, I don't know. The spring of 2018, <laughs> I think, probably. Actually, I had a bottle of it, and then I won another bottle of it. But it was at the time where I didn't have any bottles at all. So, like, I had a couple bottles. Thank you, Richard Windsor Jr., for the $2 Super Chat. I found a $1.94 on the couch. Round it up. Dryer next. <laughs> Thank you, dude. I appreciate it. But, um... I actually had two bottles of it, but it was at the time where I didn't have much whiskey, so I just basically uh, was drinking through stuff that I had. So it was like spring 2018. It was the last time I tasted it. But it was the one that made me super fall in love with bourbon. For sure. Alright. Probably going to call her a night here. Um... Richie Z, do you have a particular favorite bookers? Not <laughs> Daniel Kerber. That's terrible. Um, I don't have a particular favorite bookers now. I've only, if I had to say which one is my favorite overall, I'd say from the ones I've tasted was 2019-03 Kentucky Chew. That's got to be the best one I've tasted, but I'm not like super experienced in all of them. And Daniel Kerber wants me to hit that sick Christopher Robin impression. Oh, that's terrible. I feel. TJ cleaned out the couch. Two dollars. Thanks so much. Thanks, TJ. Um. Oh shit! I can't even do it. It's it's so bad that I can't do it. Jeez. What is it? What does he even say? He's like, oh. Oh, oh, bother. Oh, bother. It tastes... <laughs> I can't even do it. I'm sorry. That's all I got. Kentucky ham. Oh, no. Kentucky ham. So sorry. I meant to say 2018-03, not 2019-03. 2019-03 is, is country ham. 2018-03 was the one I was talking about, which is uh, Kentucky chew. Yeah, so... The best one I've tasted personally that I enjoyed on the spot was Kentucky Chew. Two things. 2020 Mictor's Toasted Barrel Strength Rye for $99 worth it. Never had it. I don't I can't can't tell you. Two, 
now that you are not drinking, it's the best time for an Elk Bradley cigar. If I had the pleasure of being able to go out in my vehicle in this gigantic city and hit up a cigar shop that carried the best cigars on the planet, and I was able to go in there and pick up an Alec Bradley cigar, tonight would be the night where I would light one up, smoke it in this Airbnb, write the landlord's letter that said, totally sorry about that, and just cake it with you folks. But unfortunately, everywhere I go, they're sold out because Alec Bradley cigars are impossible to find in Hartford. Everybody loves them. Everybody needs them. No stores got them. <sighs> Alec Bradley Cigar. Best cigar on the planet dot com. Backslash yum. Backslash what's up. Backslash <sighs> exhale. Goodness. That's all I got to say about that. Compare them to Granny's Batch, if you don't mind. One we've only one we've opened. Compare them. Compare what to Granny's Batch? I wonder if I can find a version of Winnie the Pooh with Christopher Walken. That sounds difficult. Julia says, compare them to Granny's Batch, if you don't mind. Only one we've opened. I, I've never, I don't, I've never tried Granny's Batch. Um, I've, my Booker's experience is pretty small. I have, I've had a bottle of Kentucky Chew. No, no, I'm sorry. I've had a bottle of Country Ham, and I've had Kentucky Chew on a few occasions, and then Uncle Buck sent me, like, two Booker's flights. So I can't say with confidence which, which ones I like the most over and over and over again. So I wish I could compare them, but I can't. Can't do it. Z-Man, the bottle you sent and a video of Whiskey Central was a class act, Matt. Cheers. Oh, thanks, man. Um, when I when I first started my channel, I was gifted a bottle of Will It Rye from the Bourbon Junkies. Dan sent me a bottle, and I fell in love with it. So I felt like I needed to pass the love along. And um, I know that she'll enjoy that bottle, so I'm happy to do it. Magic Toast is great. The Tempest is great. Oh, man, they all sound so fantastic. Compare them to America Bourbon. Um, yikes. Thrasher says, I was in PA and went into a cigar shop that had a whole wall of Al Alf Bradley cigars. Don't believe it. Don't believe it. Not in my neck of the woods. I've never walked into a cigar shop that had them. So that's all I'm saying. <laughs> that's the truth. <laughs> oh, jeez. Try the Blind Faith if you haven't. I've heard good things. I feel like I need to get rid of this because that's driving me nuts with the old thing across the bottom. Get rid of that. That's gone. That makes me feel a little bit better. That makes me feel way better. Oh, man. All right. Feels good. Whoops. Clicking buttons I shouldn't click. Seeing Shayla cry almost made me cry. Almost. And I don't cry, damn it. Listen. Michael Klein made me cry. Dixon Deadman made me cry. Perry Ritter made me cry. Dan and Julie L. made me cry. Um, DC made me cry. Jack Johnson made me cry. That's six people off the top of my head that I can just name that made me cry because of their generosity. And that's not a joke or me lying. That's the absolute truth. So I know what it feels like. It feels pretty cool, and um, it's awesome. The generosity of this community is amazing, and I can't say enough good things. You are all friggin' fantastic. Roger Brown made me cry. <laughs> uh, Roger Brown is a pretty fun troll who just used caps locks. It's pretty good. Old Yeller made me cry. Um, if you mix... Rebel Yell 100 with Old Grandad 114. I call that Old Yeller 107. And that's a pretty decent blend, just to let you know. Thrasher says, you don't believe me? 
Look at my Facebook post the other day. Wait, I don't believe you. Thrasher made me cry. Just to let you know. What was his, what was your Facebook post? I gotta look back. But yeah, Chris Martino, Thrasher made me cry. Bringing guys sending me a bunch of shit left and right and up and down. I I get I get emotional when I open stuff, and I shouldn't. <sighs> What did what did what did Thrasher say about believing what? Confused, a little confused. Going back, going back. Can't find it. Believe you about what? What do I believe you about? Still can't find it. Scrolling up forever. Can't find it. What 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 am I not believing you about? Campbell Soup said, first 10 minutes of UP made me cry. Oh, of Up. I thought you meant the UP, the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. First 10 minutes of Up made me cry. Yeah. Um, Forrest Gump made me cry a few times. Josh Penn says, Old Yeller 107, we need a label. That's actually... Um, my wife entered that into a blend last year for the Mash and Drum the blend again and i did really really well uh yeah old yeller 107 is old granite 114 and 50 percent old granite 114 and 50 percent um rebel yell 100 proof yeah it's 50 i mean it has to be to get 107 it's 50 50. <clears throat> donald trump made me cry i don't know about that he might have. He probably did. Why is guy whiskey eyes in the house? Those bottles you got lately made me cry. And they were not even for me. So generous. You deserve it, man. Great guy. Great channel. Thanks, sir. Thanks, you. Um, Stu, you're the best. If you guys aren't uh, watching Wise Guy Whiskey Guy, he just started his YouTube channel. Another Michigander. Another great guy. Um, go check his stuff out. Give him a subscribe. You make water come out of my eyes all the time, especially when you spill whiskey on yourself. I can't help that. It's just what I do. <laughs> uh, Julie Hell says, I cry every time I watch your videos. Pee a little too. Uh, sorry about that. That's why they make washing machines, which is a good thing. Looking for a nice bottle of something to celebrate the birth of my second son. Any sick suggestions? Solid Smoke 15. I I don't know what you're looking to spend. Don't even plug me. <laughs> oh, I just did. Um, a nice bottle to celebrate the birth of your son. I would personally go to sealbox.com. And I've never actually, this is only based on what I've heard. But if you, it's two hundred bucks. I don't, I don't have that to spend on, like personally, on a bottle right now. But if I did, and I was looking for a special occasion bottle, I knew I could buy, and it was available. Sealbox.com, um, four gate batch six, is supposed to be really good. Hundred dollars ish, hundred dollars ish. Man, that's it's hard because you're looking at. Um, Make what's available where you're at. $100. Looking for a great pour. Celebration bottle. Ah, it's hard because you don't know what's available, what, like what you can get your hands on or not. What the hell's happening over there? Did you hear that? That was weird. I mean, like, if you can find Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, that's like 70 bucks. That's what I would do. Um, it's hard to say. Edward Fulmer says, drinking a white Russian like the dude. According to Fred Schmidt, vodka sucks. I humbly disagree. I love white Russians. White Russians are the original vodka Red Bull. That's the way I look at it. And if I'm wrong, then I'm not wrong. That's definitely correct. Because caffeine and vodka. So suck on that, right? 
Dan L says, your Christopher Robbins and walking confusion was the best moment in your channel history. I don't know. I mean, I, I read it Christopher Walken, but my brain interpreted it as Winnie the Pooh. And I don't know why. So that's really dumb. Try secondary. You can get all the plantains you want. Maybe. ADHD ghost? Scary peeper. What you talking about? Oh, back there? Did you hear that? It was like popping and stuff. It was weird. So weird. I drank the shot out of white Russians in college. I love white Russians. Um, when I was younger, my I had a an apartment that was connected to another apartment. So it was like four of us in this like upstairs. It was upstairs above our laundromat, a commercial laundromat. And we just like hung out and played Mario Kart all the time. But uh, we would make our own Kahlua. It was homemade Kahlua. And it was really friggin' fantastic. So homemade Kahlua and white Russians loved it had a sweet tooth that's why i'm six thousand pounds can you make white russians with plant i gotta quit reading a roger brown's messages because just because they're in caps locks Damn. what the fudge be right back gotta make sure it's not my child I have no idea what that was. I checked on the children. It was not them. So no clue. Strange though, right? That was weird. Just weird. <sighs> I don't know. The wife with the Nerf gun. It's not though. She's in that room. The sound came from over there. Kids are back there. No clue. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. All right. Um... It's 12.30. We've been here for two and a half hours. Keep talking to us. Keep talking. Okay. I guess we can. I mean, it doesn't hurt anything. It's not hurting anything. Can't get them all to go at the same time. Do you know where you guys will be headed next, Matt? Not yet. We are we're probably going to be headed back to Michigan for the holidays, possibly. And then after that, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Kentucky, possibly, hopefully. Why would you leave us? Well, I'm not leaving you. It's just 1232 in the morning and... I've got all this mess to clean up and, you know, just stuff. But I'm, I'll, I'll hang around for a little bit. His pipe is still lit, so we'll stay there. Is that an Alec Bradley party favor? No. <laughs> you know, that's what we wanted to see. It didn't work. It didn't work at all. Timeout coming to Caps Lock users soon. That's funny. Let's talk about lowercase letters and not being annoying. <clears throat> Collab vid with Bourbon What? <clears throat> Jordan Kowalski, good night, brother. Alec is going to Kentucky next week. He's going to meet up with a little destination bourbon is what I heard. That's all I heard. Um, let's see. That's some serious mouth skills you got, my dude. You can make a killing out here in California. That's rude. 
That's rude. Roger is a terrible troll. I don't mind. Doesn't really bother me. He can troll all he wants to. Just sitting back here like this. Oh, I don't care about your times. So I'll give me a stretch and my biceps. It's only 9.32 p.m., Campbell says. Oh, um, yeah, okay, solid smoke 15. On, I guess I, I forgot to mention this, but on Tuesday, this Tuesday, myself and Michael Klein will be on the Bourbon Junkies channel at 9 p.m. for their live stream. We're going to be doing a flight from Dan and Julie L. It's the, the name of the flight is older than 10 years. So it's a flight of bourbons over 10 years old, and it's a competition. And uh, the winner gets a prize, a friggin' very nice prize. So that's actually happening on Tuesday. Tuesday night, their live stream, myself, Destination Bourbon, and the Bourbon Junkies will be live. And it'll be a lot of fun. Sam B says, haven't watched the new vid, how the EHT barrel proof fare. I think you should go watch the new video to find out. And it, that HT Barrel Proof is fantastic. It's really good. Klein says he's leaving the beginning of the week. Is he going to be, oh, really? Maybe that's not happening then. The last I heard it was happening, but if he's gone at the beginning of the week, then I guess it's not happening. So there's that. I don't know. Hunter Amos says I need to get the scorecard ready. Maybe you don't need to get ready. I don't know if if Klein's going to be in town or not. I think Klein might be golfing. What a, what a jerk. Can I just knight Dan and Julia as demigods at this point? Yeah, you, you can You can give them whatever title you want, and it will not be good enough. They are amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, Wise Guy Whiskey Guy asked something here a second ago. He said... Are you ready for the Wise Guy Celebration Flight Extravaganza after the Bardstown competition at Blendageddon? Are you ready for a Wise Guy Celebration Flight Extravaganza? Yeah, absolutely. I'll take a friggin' Celebration Flight. I love it. would love it so hard. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. Thanks, Dan Gracie. Appreciate that. If you aren't subscribed yet, then what the hell's your problem? Let's see. We... We started today, the channel started today at um, 4,910 subscribers, I think. And we are at um, 5174. So, yeah, we, shit. That's a huge jump for a day. Holy crap. Phenomenal. Phenomenal day for the channel. Appreciate it. Heck yeah, Nux. All right, guys, it's about time. It's about time for me to shard her down. Um, hopefully it's happening on Tuesday with the Bourbon Junkies. If not, then I don't know what to say. I'll, I, I guess uh, maybe later we'll, we'll figure it out. I don't know. I guess I have to talk to Klein. I thought it was a done deal, but maybe I'm wrong. Anywho, congrats on the 5K and 1K. Campbell Soup, hell yeah. Thank you, everybody out there, for... Watching this crap, subscribing to this crap, liking this crap, and then like going above and beyond and being a patron. Holy shit, that's amazing. I can't, it blows my mind way, way blows my mind. So thank you so, so much. Lance Robbins, I love hanging out with you guys. I love it, love it, love it, love it. I, um, actually, what happened was I had a conversation with my wife. And after last Friday, I was like, I need to be able to learn. Like, I want to chat with everybody. Like, I really want to talk with everyone in here for an extended period of time. But at some point, I have to stop drinking because at some point, it gets really bad um, to the point where it's not. <laughs> I mean, let's face it. If I kept drinking and drinking and drinking, it's. It gets fun, but at the same time, like, it's not fun to wake up in the morning and, like, wonder what happened last night. That's not cool. So I need to – think this was a fantastic night for me where we did two flights, actually, and I can still think straight at the end of the night. So that's really good. 
His team face says, you're going to kill him Monday. We'll all be there chant, cheering you on. That's awesome. I can't freaking wait. Um, I'm super excited. Monday, 6 p.m., Bardstown Bourbon Company Facebook page or their YouTube channel. I'm going to kill it. I'm going to do the best I can do. And I feel like I'm in the, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do well. Um, there's a flight challenge at the end. We have to present a flight, so it really depends on whether or not the judges like my flight or not, and they like my presentation or not. Will I stumble over my words? Will I be a disaster? Will I be a disgrace? Tune in to find out, I guess. Appreciate every single one of you, Trev Wilson. I appreciate you so much. You're the best. <sighs> Maybe I scared Klein off. I possibly could have. I feel like that's a possibility. Live on YouTube Monday. Monday night, 6 p.m., Bardstown Bourbon Company, their channel. That's when it's going down. We are so close, and I feel like I am going to win. And that's not me being overconfident. It's me feeling like I trained perfectly. I'm ready to rock and roll gonna be super sweet super freaking awesome can't wait monday you got this thanks shelf turds appreciate you steam face tim evans jack barson sam b gary franchi andrew Spurrell. all you sums of bitches is the best ever i love all of you all of you trev you're awesome dude can't thank you guys enough it's been almost three hours so we're gonna call it a night my name is matt this is adhd whiskey and like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on going into a competition confident, but not overconfident. Feeling good, but not too good. And then destroying everybody and laughing about it and celebrating so hard while they can watch you do it. And it's going to be so much fun. Oh, can't wait. Have a good night, everybody. See you guys Monday. Yes, Monday. Keep your mind in winning. Keep your mind on winning. Winning, winning, winning. And America. Keep your mind on America. Friggin' America.